Uh, now, he seems to be the nicest guy in Hollywood, and Andrew Ginsberg sat down with Will Smith for his new film, Men in Black 3. It was 1997 when Will Smith donned the shades in the first Men in Black film. I make this look good. The film was a smash hit, both critically and financially, making nearly $600 million and supposedly tripling the sales of Ray-Ban sunglasses. Men in Black 2 hit screens five years later, and now, ten years after that, we have Men in Black 3, starring a still youthful Will Smith and Josh Brolin, playing Tommy Lee Jones' character, Kay, as Will heads back in time to the 60s to start Stop an alien assassinating his friend and changing history. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. The film deals with past possible presents and past possible futures. Uh, you've had a remarkable career. Is there a particular moment that you thought, I could do this or I could do that? There was a moment with Michael Bay. We argued for two hours about the scene in Bad Boys where I'm running. He's like, no, I need your shirt off. I was like, no, I want my shirt on. And we argued, we argued, we argued. Argued, and we compromised on shirt on but open. And it became the iconic image that sold that movie. And I always think about, God, what if we would have done it one way or the other? Yeah, he's in the future. That's what I'm talking about. You play a fantastic version of a young K. Thanks. What was the character trait that you had to unlock and that, well, you know, I've, I've got him? I never felt like I got... I, I didn't. I just... It was one of those things. Tommy's like an instrument, you know? It's like an, a really rare instrument. It's more here than here. It's a great labyrinth to travel through, you know, Tommy Lee Jones. Will Smith has been known to sprout philosophy quite often. What's it like spending a day on set with him? I love the guy, man. I was very fortunate to actually enjoy him. But that was just luck. That was just luck. Otherwise, you've got to act it, and there's more acting involved than you don't. It's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> with three men in blacks now under his belt, does Will believe in alien cover-ups himself? My son, Jaden, is a serious conspiracy theorist, so we're going to the White House, and he says, Dad, I have to ask the president about the aliens. I said, Jaden, don't you dare. So we're walking through, we're getting a tour. And he says, Mr. President, I'm like, mm. and Barack says, stop, the aliens. And I was like, mm. Barack said, OK, I can neither confirm nor deny the existence of extraterrestrials. And Jaden goes, mm. I knew it! I knew it! So now my, my son believes that the president confirmed. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. I can only imagine how you feel. Yeah. It'll always be the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to me, but Men in Black 3 is out now. For more of Andrew's interviews, tune your radio to Hot Hits Live from LA each Sunday across the Southern Cross Austereo Network.